we'll start with a story song that I wrote about a hobo who I met through his obituary. I like to start with the happy songs. Work my way down. This obituary had a headline and said, Steam Train Maury Graham, King of the Hobos, dead at age 74. And it got my attention. It made me wonder who made him king. And so I read it and found out that he was made king at the annual hobo convention. Held every year in Brent, Iowa. He was elected king by the other hobos 11 times. So he was the king of the king of the hobos. I poked around and found myself at the website of the funeral home to rest. Did y'all know funeral homes have websites? Well, they do, and if you click on the name of the deceased, it brings you to a message board where you can post your memories. And the messages under the name Steam Train Maury Graham made me grab my guitar. They were posted by other hobos. that when a hobo dies, they say he caught the westbound. I could just see them all sitting out there around the campfire with their hobo coffees and their hobo stew and their laptop computers. Train Maury died last night. His wife Wanda was by his side. He caught the westbound out of here, hopped the high irons to the by and by. They say he jumped 10,000 trains, rode a million miles for free, helped out at VA hospitals. Rusty nails and sweet lady sugar cane. Dead eye Kate and the baloney kid raise their cups tonight in steam train's name. Senators and congressmen, puppets on a string. Among windswept vagabonds, steam train was king. He was the last. side. 
sidewalk cigarette butt born with an aching wanderlust embedded in his gut hounded beaten laughed at broke chased out of every town with his walking Steam train more. 